Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. This is Canadian Retro. I've got another uh, video here that I'm putting together. This is a trade that I did with Bill Benton. If you haven't checked out Bill Benton's channel, you definitely need to go check it out. He is an awesome YouTuber, uh, really great finds, good eye for things, uh, loves the classics and the retro stuff just like I do obviously. And this just goes to show you um, what a great guy he is. When you see uh, the things I'm going to show you here and the extras and stuff that he threw in, you know, you know that you're dealing with a quality person. He always cleans everything. It's always so beautiful when it shows up. And I really appreciate stuff like that as well. Um, at this point, I mean, I've done a numerous, I think I've done like three or three trades at least with Bill before. So, and there'll probably be more in the future, I'm sure of it. So, uh, when it comes down to it, I consider Bill more than just another fellow YouTuber. This guy's a personal friend of mine at this point because he is totally awesome and he has always hooked me up. And speaking of awesome guys as well, um, the other person who was crucial in this trade is Longshot, who I've mentioned again in numerous times on my channel. I've mentioned Bill in numerous times on my channel too, but Longshot actually helped out with this trade because he was also trading with Bill uh, some items as well, and you can go check out their respective videos and things like that as far as that's concerned. But um, when it comes down to it, Longshot really helped me out with this deal because he actually took these things and uh, mailed them to Bill Benton because he was able to sort of shave, save us rather a little bit on shipping um, because he was able to mail it when he was in the United States instead of from Canada because Canada and shipping and go, sending stuff to the United States is getting really pricey to the point where it's not even worth it. Um, that's just the way that goes so he really helped me out a lot with this and today he actually delivered this to my house so I really appreciate that long shot. Um, thanks again man. You're definitely, you know, one of the greatest guys out there when it comes to this stuff. And obviously, I'm going to get to this stuff right now. So, what happened was when Longshot brought all these things back, he actually had them at his house. He pulled everything out, except for obviously the thing that I traded. He left that wrapped and everything like that. But he pulled out all the extras and things like that. And Bill had basically told them uh, to fight amongst ourselves which things he wanted, which wasn't really a fight. We just kind of went back and forth and picked and choose sort of thing. And so, the first thing that I picked out was this right here. This was my first pick, which I think is pretty cool. It's a Skylanders controller, which is really neat. Um, this here is kind of odd though, because the connector on it, I have never seen a wired Xbox controller. This is even Xbox, yeah, well it is, because it has a symbol there. But I've never seen a wired Xbox controller that has this style, style of thing to it. I mean, I've seen the original Xbox that has like that kind of style to it, but I've never actually seen like a modern day controller that's wired that has that to it. Although I've never really seen a modern day wired controller to begin with because mine are all wireless. So that's kind of weird. Tell me a little bit about this if you get this, but even still, I'll probably never really plug this into my system. It's not the point of it. Um, it's really just something to go along with my Skylanders collection, collection that I have because I'm such a fanatic for Skylanders and this controller is in really great shape and pretty detailed and stuff like that and I love the graphics on it. It comes from the uh, giant series of Skylanders so that's super cool and like I said super happy to uh, get that as one of the things that was an add-in. And then the next thing here is another game and I only picked this based on the cover art of it just because I think it's like super cool looking. Um, never really played this before so if you know anything about this game you let me know but here it is right here, it's Trigger Man. And like I said, I just love the artwork on it, like the detail on the artwork and the style of it and everything like that. Super wicked, so I thought I would pick this out because this is one of the other options. Um, so there you go right there, and it's totally complete. And that's super awesome right there, thank you man, uh, for throwing that in as well because I'll really appreciate that. And when I plug in my PlayStation 2 again, I'll get that in there for sure. And the last thing here I'll show you actually was the item that we did our trade for and this here is a game that I was looking for. It's not um, something that's super pricey or anything like that, it's just locally people have um, gone nuts with uh, Super Nintendo prices. They've just lost their minds. I see games that are like $10 games and people are wanting 40 bucks for them now on Kijiji and uh, Craigslist and things like that. Like I said, they've lost their minds. So it's really hard though to find these things at reasonable prices now. And when I found it in his uh, in Bill's trade video, I had to get it. So it's pretty awesome, anyways. Though it's Illusion of Gaia, which is always nice to add these RPG type of games into my collection because I didn't 
have this before obviously and that's wicked right there and it's super clean um, which is what Bill does when he sends you stuff he sends you clean stuff and that's what I really appreciate as well when I'm doing trades so if you ever do a trade with me clean your stuff first and because I always do the same thing and I make sure stuff's clean when I send it out and same thing um, with this Bill did a good job cleaning this up for me so I can put that straight into my collection really awesome can't wait to shove this into the Retron 5 and give it a shot uh, because I've been testing out the Restaurant 5 basically lately. Uh, that's something I want to check out on it for sure. So, thanks again for watching. If you haven't checked out Bill's channel, you definitely need to go do that. Also, check out Longshot's channel if you haven't done that already. Um, I'm sure most of you that are watching these videos probably have already done that. But if you um, haven't, I'll put links down below like I said before. And go do that because if you're not, you're missing out. So, thanks again for watching. If you haven't subscribed to either of their channels, go do it. Uh, comment down below. And I'll see you all later.